Welcome to the latest episode of the Platform. Today, we're speaking to Matt Reyes. Matt, if you may not be familiar with him, is apparently the cousin of Jason Adriani. I'm sure I remember Jason telling me that, uh, either at Winter Clash or in one of our various online chats. Jason Adriani rides for Razors and Red Eye Wheels. And in 2019 was the first video I saw from Matt. He had a section out for razors and it had some just amazing tricks in it. Parallel grabbed fish brains, zero spin alley fish brains, alley topsoles on long, high, flat rails, uh, true spin kind grinds on pretty high, flat rails as well. His style was a little bit unrefined and he'd only been skating for a couple of years at that point, but you could tell that he had incredible talent. Fast forward a couple of years and on his Instagram account, you can just see him skating insanely high stuff. He skates fast, aggressive. He's got a great style. He looks completely different to the skater that produced that section in 2019. Um, He used to have long hair past his shoulders and glasses. Now he's got a short mullet and the glasses are nowhere to be found. And his skating has just gone from strength to strength. It's really enjoyable to watch. Most recently, he just put out a section for them skates and it was amazing. It starts off with a disaster sunny day at the famous Milan spot at the train station. Um, It ends with a full cab true spin top porn down a rail. And from his reaction, it looks like the first time he's ever done that down a handrail. There was also some really stylish true spin top soles on high ledges and just lots of great tricks. So hopefully that means he's officially on the them now and we're going to start to see even more footage of them. Someone told me that I don't do enough spiels to promote the podcast and I'm not really a fan of spiels so since this episode is going to be hosted by Blazer Union I thought I'd pass over to Biz. If you're new to this series and you like what you see consider subscribing or following. Also like this video and share with the homies. Look it's quick, it's easy, it's painless and most of all it's free. It'll make your big homie happy so go ahead and do it. Now that we've got that shenanigans out of the way, cue the music. The platform, platform, platform. The platform, platform, platform. The platform, platform, platform. platform, platform, platform. And we're connected Yo. to audio. We're in business. Oh, sorry. My computer just, I don't know. It's not working. Okay. I'm doing it with my phone. Sorry. That's fine. Phone works just as well as a laptop does. Okay. Yeah. Are we alive already? Yeah. We're we alive? This is, oh, yeah. Okay. Straight from the, straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Straight for it. Okay. How you doing? How was your weekend? I'm doing great. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Have you been? Is are there any like? Does Italy or Milan have any uh, coronavirus like lockdown restrictions or anything at the moment? Not right now. We we um, in, in in the restaurant or in the bar. It's like you you have to use the mask. Yeah. But if you have the green pass, or you you have. For being in the bar, you have to, you you need the green pass, so you have to done the vaccine. Okay. But a lot of people here don't believe in that, don't believe in coronavirus. Like, there are a lot of ignorance here, so it's kind of hard to know. It's not it's not easy to to go around here. Oh, Wait. oh we're what back. Happened? Okay. Okay. Wait. I think Sorry. you pressed something. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but uh, it's it's hard. We we're kind of free because uh, uh, like three months ago there was like the curfew, and now for vacation they cut it off, but it's not getting better here. Yeah, it's not getting better. Because I remember, it's getting worse. yeah, when it first started, like it, Italy was one of the strictest countries. They were yeah. one of the first ones like, to just close everything. Exactly. They were like, stay exactly. in your house. Yeah. But uh, then, 
uh, the vaccine came here. So a lot of people have done the vaccine, but there's still a lot of people that doesn't want to do that. So there's still people getting, you know, the, the virus. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think there's, there's a certain number of people in every country yeah. that feel that way. That's, that's their choice. I'm, I'm, yeah. No comment. <laughs> well, yeah, but I still can skate. I still can go around with my friends. So for now it's okay, but let's see the future because I don't know on yeah. September, how the situation is going to be like. No, that's fair enough. Um, am I, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it Matt Reyes or Reyes? How, how do you say your it's, second name? It's Reyes. Reyes. Okay. That, yeah. That's not a very Italian sounding second name. No, no. Because both of my parents are from Philippines. Okay. They came here in Milan. Then I was born in 2002. I'm 19. And, and everybody called me Matt or Matt. But my real name, my first name is Matthew. Okay, yeah. So, so, so both your parents are from the Philippines. So you're you're the first person in your family to be born in Italy. Uh, I I have well, I have obviously two brothers. Like, yeah. All oh, right. So, were your brothers born in the Philippines or in Italy? No. Uh, every uh, everybody in in Italy here in Milan. Oh, all right. Okay. I'm the youngest, so. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm lucky. Right, okay, cool. So your parents, your parents moved over and then started having kids. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Why, why did they choose Italy? I actually don't know why. Maybe because uh, they want to, you know, change a type of life. Maybe I, I actually never asked my mom why when she came here in Milan to to giving. To have kids, actually, maybe later I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, because <laughs> like you would think, because surely they're gonna have to move over there and learn Italian. Yeah. Or do, do your parents speak English as well? Yeah, they do speak English. They speak Filipino, of course, then English, but they they do speak uh, Italian too. So surely it would have been easier just to move to an English-speaking country, and then they wouldn't have had to learn Italian. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Even if my English is not too good, but I'm trying my best uh, to... Your English is good. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> so um, am I right in thinking that you're related to Jason Adriani? Yeah, and Gabriel Adriani. They're, they're, they're like uh, brothers, and I'm the, the cousin. Yeah, because I know Jason, and I, I was sure I remembered Jason telling me, yeah, that you were related. I just couldn't remember what what the connection yeah, yeah. was okay um was it was it jason that got you into rollerblading not him but an, uh, another co- another cousin we were i was in uh, his birthday he's he's bringing the skate he was he brought the skate i was like okay let's try it because i ever i i always seen jason and gabriel skating yeah but i i was the uh, I was with the skateboard because that was cool and everybody got the skateboard. So yeah. I started with that. Then I love it. And I try it. I'm like, okay, I have to do this from, in, from my life. I want to do this all my life. So you've got three cousins that all do aggressive rollerblading. Yeah. The That's other crazy. one, the, the one that, yeah, the other one stopped because he got hurt and, he he wasn't that, you know, that aggressive <laughs> like yeah, mentality. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He, he stopped. But yeah, uh, me, Jason, and Gabriel were like, uh, I I grew up watching their video, right? So okay. I was like, super cool. Because am am I right? In, am I right in thinking you started rollerblading in 2017? Is that right? Yeah, 2016 or 17. I don't. I actually don't remember. I think no, 2017. Four years ago. Four right. years ago. Because I remember when you had your section out for razors that Jason made, 
And I'm sure yeah. in the description, he said that you'd only been skating for like a couple of years. Yeah, exactly. I think two years from that. Yeah. Because I had long hair in that video. I remember that. You look <laughs> in like a completely different person in that video. Long, <laughs> really long hair and glasses. Yeah. Everybody told me that. But I'm, I should wearing the glasses. I'm, but, you know, I don't like it anymore. Wait, what? So you just, I, I thought you just like swapped them for contact lenses or something. So you just no. don't wear them. I don't, I just don't wear them. That's a risky, I, I used to do that as a teenager yeah. and that led to a lot of falls. I know because uh, like two years ago, uh, I almost, you know, I almost break the glasses when I was skating. So like, okay, I'm not going to use the glasses when I'm skating. Then I started had had headache when I'm skating. I was like, okay, I'm just cut, I'm gonna cut it off. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it anymore. So now I actually can read from like three meters. So I said, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna <laughs> do it like that. Just so, they're really straight. They're really straight. So <laughs> right, okay. It's not so gonna the, change it. The glasses are just <laughs> for reading. Like yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so you mentioned, that's what I was going to ask, because obviously you grew up in Milan. Milan is massive for skateboarding. You know, it's got the huge scene, especially at the train station. You know, William Strobeck yeah. moved there this year to film a video or last year, whatever, whatever the get, like, year was to do for one for Supreme. So how come, and you said that you used to skateboard. So how come you didn't stick with skateboarding how come you chose rollerblading because surely it would have been easier to stick with skateboarding because i imagine you know a lot more people that do it yeah but when i was skating okay i i wasn't that good you know you know kick flip all the pop show with viral flip but it wasn't passion it was like only for aesthetic you know you know you want to be the cool kids you know yeah with the skate with skateboard i, I was like 11 12 but then i fell from the stairs with the skate because i was trying to get with the train only and i felt because four years ago i used to play tennis in the serious level i played tennis for like 30 years that 13 years 12 okay. 13 years <laughs> and my big bro my, my biggest brother He's, he's been the, the third in the Philippines of playing tennis. No way. Yeah. And my dad, classic Filipino dad, they're like, no, you have to you have to play tennis. You have to, <laughs> don't go fuck around with like skateboarding and <laughs> I mean he's, oh, he, he might have a point, you know, tennis yeah. tennis is a, <laughs> is a is a better career option than rollerblading. Let's let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, but then I changed mentality. I was like, I, I want to do what I like to do. If I love, you know, rollerblading, I have to do that. I, I was I was good playing tennis, but couldn't couldn't you keep doing both? Couldn't you could rollerblade at the weekends and play tennis? You know, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, when I don't when I don't skate, I just rest for the. For all the all the fouls, or for all the fail, all, all, all the injuries. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. For all, all the injuries, <laughs> right. so I don't have time for playing tennis. And so, when when your cousin got you into rollerblading, and I'm assuming, I'm guessing you started skating with Jason and Adri and um, his brother uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. Did, yeah. Did Jason, because he's like a massive rollerblading geek and has all the videos yeah. and is like obsessed, yeah. did he did he say, oh, you need to check these videos? Because obviously you only started skating a few years ago. Like it's not like yeah. 2017, 2016. That's not that yeah, long ago. Was he like, you have to check these videos out or you yeah. have to check these sections out? Like which which ones did he try and like encourage you to get into? The thing is, uh, I know every every Jason's video. I know all 
all his video. But every time he he sent me a link, I just don't, I just don't watch it. You know why? <laughs> because <laughs> because he, he he hates me for this one. He call me stupid and dumb for this thing. Because of course I need to know uh, the you know the legendary yeah. pro skaters of the past. Uh, the one of the, the video I like it the most is uh, the VG19. That's, that's a good video, yeah. Yeah, it's a good video. It's long too. <laughs> it's quite long, yeah. It's, All the VGs yeah, are quite, quite long. long, yeah. And for our generation, you know, we all with my phone, of course, we all see fasting. You know, if there's a video that's longer than five minutes i'm not gonna watch it all <laughs> <laughs> it's our thing you know yeah i mean i get it it makes sense because like back then we didn't have instagram and facebook and youtube so the only thing we did have was videos and you you didn't have a choice like you you bought a full-length video you watched a full-length video whereas now you're like well i can just cut out all the crap and get to the good stuff and just watch you know Short. Exactly. So, um, but I feel bad too, you know. I, I, I need to know, you know, the story and the legends. But I mean, there's I would say there's arguments for both. Yeah, there is arguments for like looking back in history and seeing what happened before. But then another side of that is the only type of rollerblading you've ever known is people going faster and doing tricks and like a in a much more controlled way. Whereas if you go back in time, everyone skates a lot slower, especially like in the, the mid nineties, everyone's skating really slow and the grinds are quite basic because people are just doing soles and front sides on everything. So okay. if you go that far back and watch those videos, you might just be like, oh, this is really, this is a bit painful. Like ever, everything looks the same. Like that because yeah, exactly. a lot of videos were just the same three grinds over and over and over again. Yeah, but you know, I still need to watch a lot of video. Have, have, has he ever like made you, have you ever visited his, his house and he's like, right, today we're sitting down and we're watching Hope Yeah, Hope, yeah. Or we're, when, we're doing this. Like, me, yeah, when, like when I am making me. you watch this. Like what, what <laughs> yeah. videos has he made you watch? Because uh, he's a massive mind game oh. geek. So he must have made you watch yeah. the mind game videos. Don't ask me the name of the video because I don't remember. <laughs> I'm feeling so bad. Jason's going to kill you when he sees this. He's going to yeah, watch this and be like, kill me. I tried to educate you and you've ruined it. <laughs> exactly. He's going to kill me. I know for sure. Tomorrow he's going to kill me. <laughs> you, can't, you can't remember any of like, the iconic no. videos he made you watch? Okay. He introduced me to, uh, for, to one of my biggest idols. John Bully, you know, okay, and he okay, he he forced me to watch SSM John Bully, you know, and I loved the, that video. Yeah. Then, what did what did you like about John Bully? what did you what did you see in that section that you were like, yes, that's that's what I want, that's what I want to do, or like that's what I like to look at. Uh, the video original when he did top so then fight for you out on the on the mini. It's not it's not ledge, but he was a tiny. Oh, I know what you mean. He does he does top soul on the rail on five forties and lands on the ledge. And uh, exactly, yeah, and, exactly. And his create originals part, that is an incredible. I was trick. like, how? I was like, how? Yeah, me me too. Wait, I, I, exactly. I was like, how as well. Yeah. <laughs> when I do 540 I'm like yes. <laughs> I can't control myself when I do 540 yeah. so yeah. yeah that is that is a good choice so you've mentioned I, that makes sense like John Bellino being an influence I can see that because in the section that I saw of you in 2019 you were doing like hard tricks you were doing like parallel fish brains zero spin fish brains like true spin king grinds but Exactly. It felt like it wasn't quite refined yet. And then your new section came out and you're doing everything like twice as fast. Everything's all the objects are way higher. And it's like, 
it's it's like you've yeah. developed into like a more confident skater. So I can see the I can see the John the John Bellino like influence. The John Bellino. I'm I'm trying to do like now. I'm trying to do no, not basic trick, but I'm trying to go you no know, big for the spot. Yeah. But when I do like like not smaller spot, but kind of easy, kind of easy, I'm trying big trick. Like you know, uh, when I the last trick of my video when I do full cup two spin top 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 four, yeah, it wasn't a big reel, but the the trick was big, kind of big. Was that is that the first time you've ever done that on a street okay. st- stair rail? Because the way when you landed, your reaction suggested <laughs> that's the first time you've ever landed that. I'm gonna tell you a story. Uh, I tried that trick like a few times, like. 15 times in my entire uh, in, in a year 15 times okay and always on the skate park so ledge uh, on ledges on mini rails but never i never tried on street that that day that day well, i was you like know, trying was watching... doing something in the skate park and doing it on street is completely different, different. Like, so yeah exactly then I, I saw this rail and I was filming and I was thinking about uh, some tricks, right? I was like, okay, two spin top board, like, it's a cool trick. But then I, I, I did it, but I wasn't, I wasn't that confident. I was like, I, I think I can do more. Okay. And As in uh, it, came, was, it came too easy. Like you did it and you were like, oh, well, that's, you know, <laughs> like, that felt, that felt I was, okay. I, 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 I I was uh, in front of the rail. I was like, I think I can do a full cup to top row on this rail. And Jason told me, and Jason, when I saw Jason with the camera doing this space, I was like, do it. Yeah. I tried a few times, then I hit, I hit my back on the, on the stairs. I was like, okay, last try. Last try, and I did it. I don't know how, but I, I, I locked the trick. When I when I felt the the foot locking the trick, I was like, "Stay still, don't move. Stay still, stay there. Just Dude, let it hold, fake hold it. on, let hold it. on for dear life." <laughs> exactly. Just um, let it fake it. Yeah, that's what, like that's one of those tricks that it's so easy. Like even just a true spin top porn on a handrail is so easy to hurt yourself. Like doing it full cab, right. make like just yeah. It, you could have easily just wrote yourself off. So, so that was just that was just on one session, and you just decided there and then, uh, right? That that's what I'm going to do, and that's what happened. Yeah. But that day we filmed like uh, five clips of the edit. That that was the last clip of the of the day. Right. Oh, like okay. So like I'm gonna try, it. <laughs> and this is the last day. So the edit is gonna come out. The this is still gonna come out. So. I'm gonna yeah. try it. Fair enough. I love that. I loved. I loved the very first trick of the video, the one where you just go at, like as fast as you can possibly go and jump from the ground to the second step at the Milan train yeah. station. That is, yeah, that is ballsy. Like especially to go for a sunny day because sunny day you just missed your sofa and you are just slamming <laughs> into the side <laughs> of the ledge and you were going so fast. And it looked like you took a couple of falls as well. That that yeah. that could have like ended the day like straight away. Just trying that one. That, trick. Was, that was the actually that was that was the first clip with the new skate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the I I took a a lot of speed because the floor is very slippery, and I have I had to jump a lot. And the, the ledge it's fucked up, literally fucked up. Oh yeah. Like thousands because of skateboards. All the skaters, yeah. Yeah. Skaters, bikers. Oh. I kind of oh, can't okay. believe that ledge is still there. Like that ledge has been there for years. So many skaters yeah. come off that ledge and go into like oncoming traffic and just basically cause nothing but trouble. Every like skate yeah. company in the world that visits Italy goes to that spot. You would think that the train station would just cap the hell out of it and make it impossible to skate but the thing is uh there's a lot of cops there and soldiers etc 
but I never seen a skate stop there. Right. Never. But in other station, there's a lot of skate stop and other things. Maybe because it's like, uh, you know, it's very popular and everybody wants to skate it. And yeah. the cops said, okay, whatever. So are, are a lot of other spots in Milan capped? Like a, do a lot of them have skate stoppers on them and you, can, you can't ride them? Uh, it depends. This is a part of Milan that's very popular. And then there's a lot of you know, security guard. They're watching all the area going around say, no you can't do this here you have to go to a skate park Man. but there's a lot of spot not in not in this even in the center there's a lot of cute spot and a cool spot that you can you can easily go and skate like easy okay but uh, uh, we always when we do when we do straight uh, when we filming with Jason, we always go out of Milan, just a little bit out of Milan, because Milan it's flat, and there's no hills, etc. Yeah. So there's no up and down, so wheels, etc. But if you go a little bit out of Milan, you can see a lot of rails, big rails or big ledges, and that's cool. But Milan is full spot. Okay. Um, it depends the time. Yeah. I also loved the another favorite was the the true spin top sole because again you went really fast at it you again jumped on to like the higher part of the ledge and I don't think there was any ledge left like you grinded right off the end of that thing so <laughs> yeah and that's a scary trick like true spin top sole is scary to go fast at and to do it on a high ledge is yeah so fair enough yeah that was yeah that was one of my favorite. That ledge, uh- the, thank you. The ledge is uh, it's pretty hard because uh, in that spot there's a lot of cars that is gonna park uh, for you know there's a lot of houses so that, uh, all the people park like you know kind of shitty park. Yeah. So uh, for doing that trick, I was going that fast because the ledge is very long. So my I was thinking. If I'm going fast, the ledge is gonna be short. <laughs> um, that's yeah, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, okay. So I was like, I can't do it. No, very low. Like, I, 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 I learned that trick from Barston. You know, the two top so of Barston is. Oh, Alex low. Barston. Yeah, yeah. Alex Barston. He, he does have an incredible he, true spin top so Yeah. Yeah, even Alex top so <laughs> so low so yep. steezy and i was like okay i have to go fast you know lock it and just rewind it <laughs> yours yours but, was low like you were not you yeah. were not standing up in that true spin top so so yeah my thing is if if i'm going to stay low it's uh, way it's not scary at all for me true, for my true, opinion true yeah because if you're gonna stand up, the the spot looks so so big, so so scary. So if you go stay low, you're ready in the floor. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But it's really hard to hold it when you're that low in the ground, and you held it yeah. perfect. Thank you, because it's hard to to how how can I say that. It's, when, when you it's do hard the, to get you know, back up. You can you can get that yeah, low. Exactly. It's, it's getting back up that's the problem. Yeah, that that, that was the problem. But the, the funny thing is, I did that trick like uh, two months earlier because I, I was I was still skating razors. I was doing the an edit, but then uh, John John texted me and and uh, I already done that that ledge. Like uh, six months ago. Okay. But uh, I was like, I have to do the edit for them, for the skate. So you're you're telling me you were working on a new edit for razors, and John poached you off razors. That's what you're telling me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so what happened to all the razors footage? Nothing. They're just they're it's just in my phone. Gone. Nobody's here. 
that's not coming out. Were there oh, any were there any like clips apart from the true top? So were there any other clips that you got in there that you were like, oh, I now need to go and do that again on them skates? No, only only the true top so because the other chicks was like not that cool as the true top so. Okay. So like for for you know, you know, for the new edit from them skate, I, I need to do, you know, big tricks and cool tricks, right? Right. So I, I need to do it again. So I mean you, like, you came out strong. That section was I I love the section you've <laughs> just put out. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate it. But you were riding for razors from for like were you not on razors for a few years like two or three years or or were you no because I was you obviously had that section out in 2019 were you like on the team then or yeah i was on the team okay i I'm was guessing, on the team. i'm guessing through jason right yeah yeah exactly exactly jason but then uh, uh wait john text me when uh, you know the, in uh, you know the train station there was like the supreme day I I'm not sure if it was the, the supreme day and my friend called me I'm like okay come here to the train station let's skate you no know, we have a beer you no know, chilling yeah I'm like okay I'm gonna film some tricks you know there's like uh, more than a hundred skaters I've I've seen I, I've seen the supreme video so yeah it looked like they just took over it for months. Exactly. And I was like, I was the only rollerblader, and I, I feel like you know, kind of sad, but I'm like, I'm still gonna rock it. Yeah. Then I did top song, you know. See, the see your friend. Spot. See the friend that invited you over and told you the Supreme guys were there. Was he a skateboarder? Yeah. Right. It was a okay. skateboard. Right. So then, okay, I was like, okay, yeah, give me some tricks, you know. I'm gonna. I want to film some some tricks. I did top so on the same ledge that I did top or right. I think then I've seen I, that. I think I've seen that clip. Yeah. yeah. I, I posted on Instagram and yeah. then I did 360 over the trash. Yeah. Yeah, because you hit you hit the bin once, didn't you? Yeah. Right. I one try, I hit it. I was like so scary because <laughs> it's, it's not small. It's not small. I, I can tell. Yes, it is not. And then from that video, I kind of, I kind of go viral. I went viral a little bit. Right. Then Patrick uh, reposted. Then who reposted? Scott Queen reposted. Other skater reposted. And and that the same day, uh, I was drink, I was drinking with my friends, and I saw John Julio want to text you like. Uh, the notification was like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> and he asked me if I want to know, you know, if I want some skates and try them and maybe, you know, get on the team. I was like, don't ask twice. That, yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is a very cool text message to get. Also, John Julio comes from a Filipino background. So you've got like exactly. a Filipino skate legend asking you exactly. if you want to skate for his team that's pretty cool yeah pretty cool super cool <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing it was an easy decision then you were like buy razors uh no it wasn't that easy because uh, <laughs> razors is like the only skate that i ever tried so i was like i don't know how i'm feeling with the skates and i don't want to you know to to you know, I want to give the answer, you know, to John Julio. Then I tried them, and they were like super cool. And I decided to you know, to quit razors and uh, start skating with them. Yeah, it was super cool. It is, it that is, message, that yeah. message, was like super cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that is pretty for yeah for anyone who rollerblades. That is pretty cool. Um, plus, it is a, it is a big move, like because you don't know if you're gonna like the skates, you don't know if you're gonna be able to skate as well as in them as you could in your other skates. So, trying trying on a new pair of skates can be like it can be a really 
positive, great thing, or it can be absolutely terrible. And you're like, I can't do any of my tricks in this, but because some, some skaters can skate anything. Most skaters exactly. only have particular skates that, that they can really be their best in. So, yeah. Yeah. There are like big difference between these skates, but I think uh, the, um, the 909 and the Danny Beer Pro model, they're dope. They're a little bit, they're a little bit soft because I was riding razors. So it's crazy. The amps get a little bit softer, but okay. they were super cool. And the liner of the Danny Beer is crazy. The intuition crazy. liner is very good. Yeah. 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 I've, I only started using intuition liners maybe two years ago. I am never using another liner ever again. Exactly. Yeah. Super cool. Um, so see the skateboarder that you, does that mean that when you skate, you do you hang out with the skateboarders there or is there a kind of tension? Because I would have thought that if that's a big famous skateboarding hub and they've got like, you know, a famous team there, and then one of the skateboarders is like, oh, I'm just going to invite yeah. a rollerblader down to the session. All his friends would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Here, the street, uh, there's always a little bit of tension because, you know, wax, et cetera, et cetera. You can wax here, you can wax there. Oh, fuck. There's a rollerblade in a skate park. It's going to wax everything. Yeah, It's going to cut my line. Oh. But... Um, Matt, you know, is, that, is that your way of saying you snake skateboarders all the time? You just you just getting in getting in everyone's way. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, no. My friend, uh, they were like, you know, the that tension doesn't mean anything, you know, for our friendship. So, no, yeah. like, he he skate with the wax, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's better. I mean, if you're a but, good skateboarder, good skateboarders I, don't care about wax. Like, good skateboarders I, I can skate I, something I, I that don't slides. Get that thing. I, I don't get the thing for the wax. Okay, maybe you can't you can skate with the wax. I can, I can, you know, it's, it's okay. You can skate with wax. But if you're going to come to me and being cocky, like, uh, you know, being angry, yelling at me, yeah, like I, I'm like, why are you angry? Like, I'm gonna you know, just skate, just skating easy. Just then they they told me go faster. That's and such I, a I, dumb thing to say because if you go really fast and it doesn't slide, you're just gonna get you're gonna stick and get thrown forward. Like that's that's the worst advice ever. Yeah, but the thing is, if I put in the wax, just go slower. It's not. It's not. It's not bad. This is true. You can also respond just saying, oh, maybe you should go a little bit slower. Yeah, yeah. Just go slower. Yeah, true. Um, that's pretty funny. I was just kind of wondering if, because obviously in your generation, it's different because rollerblading was never famous in your generation. Whereas when I was okay. growing up, because it was so popular, it made it really easy for skateboarders to hate it because they're like, you guys are everywhere. You're on TV, you're in films, you're fucking everywhere. I'm sick of seeing you guys. You're taking over <laughs> all the skate parks. Whereas now, because there's not as many rollerbladers, I just wondered if skateboarders even care. Like, surely they'd be like, oh, like, you know, you, you see, seen a, seen a rollerblader is like seeing a unicorn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the aggressing rollerblade uh, in our, uh, my generation, is not famous at all. So every time maybe I met a new person and he asked me, what do you do for a living? You know, it's your hobby. I, I'm a rollerblader. It's like, so you do slalom between the, between the things? I'm like, yeah. not, not really. I, I, I respect that, but it's not what, I, what I'm doing. So I'm doing kind of harder tricks, right? <laughs> You're like, I jump so on stuff time, and get like, hurt all the time. And he's like, all right, okay. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, it's very underground as a as a sports. For me, yeah. it's a sports passion. It's not a hobby. It's a sport. <laughs> yeah, for for anyone. Yeah. yeah, for anyone that does it for 
I don't know, exactly. for, like over a certain amount of time or anyone who does it regularly enough, you don't think of it as playing football or playing tennis or playing golf or, you know, I don't know, exactly. playing poker or something. You're like, no, I, this is what I'm all about. This is everything to me. So, exactly. yeah. Um, but it is quite funny you say that because just saying, oh, I roller blade isn't enough. It just doesn't make sense. So someone exactly. go, all right, so what, you, you do like marathons? And you're like, no. Yeah, exactly. You, like, you go fast? Now, yeah. You go. <laughs> and they're like, uh, oh, okay, so you do like recreational? And you're like, no. And, and exactly. You have to like break it down to them and really like exactly explain what it, you're like. I like to slide on stuff. I like to jump off stuff. I like to jump on I'm stuff. I'm doing like, like skateboarders, but with the blades, with the roll blades. Yeah, I I hate using that comparison, but it is it's the easiest way to yeah, describe yeah. it. Yeah, they're like you know you know what skateboarders do, and they're like yeah, and they're like well, we do that on rollerblades, and they're like oh, all right, okay, and it's it's the like quickest way to yeah they're explain like, it. Since when? Like since when? Like and every time you know speaking speak Jai, like, like fuck every time. So. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy. So you only started in like 2016, 2017, only had yeah. like a couple of sections out and now you're skating for them. That's pretty crazy. Exactly. It, it's <laughs> pretty crazy. And and yes, like four, four years, almost five, almost five. That's wild. I I, so yeah. when when John contacted you, have you ever, have you spoken to him about what it means to be on the team and what like, what, you know, you what happens going forward? Yeah, we talk a lot, and he told me there's a lot of projects in the future, and and the, this is only the beginning for for me and them skate. So I'm so excited to be part of them skate and for the future project, and I can't be more happier than now, literally. Yeah. Because ob- obviously there's not like any tours or like traveling happening right now, but I would imagine in the not too distant future, you know, they are going to be doing that again. So is there, is there anything you like know about that's happening that you're going to be involved in or? He told me about traveling in 2022. And... Uh, and of course, brain that the collaboration, etc., is gonna give me stuff. Has a sponsor, of course, is gonna give me stuff. But yeah, and and other videos and collaboration. There's a lot of stuff going on, and I can't wait. Live, can't wait to to start traveling and making videos with everybody. Check the, the, when uh, when John told me that I was on the team. I was like, I'm in the same team of Alex Broska. I was like, wait, what? Alex Broska? Alex Broska? That is, yeah. When you put it like that, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Plus, especially for you, because you, the the only Alex Broska you know is like the Valo Alex Broska, right? Like the Valo and them Alex Broska. Whereas, even even like that I version saw K- is insane. I, I saw KFC. I yeah. saw KFC. But that's it. I mean, still, like, Everybody, everybody's gonna hate me. Everybody's gonna hate me for this. <laughs> if if you start skating that late, like you you shouldn't you shouldn't have to know. It's like I don't know. It's like getting into like football at a certain in a certain I, year. I shouldn't be shamed, right? And I then people, be shamed. yeah, people being like, "Why don't you know about these footballers from twenty years ago?" And you're like, "I didn't watch football then. I wasn't alive then. Why am I? Why am I supposed to know about something I I, I wasn't there for?" Um, I think that's fine. Plus, Alex, Alex is one of these people that just did not get worse. Like, Alex, Alex's skating changed over the years, but it's still exactly. unbelievable. Like, he everything he puts out is still amazing. So it's, it's super perfect every trick. Yeah, super he's... fast, super control. Um, yeah, the fact that he went from doing five forties through roofs. Uh, through trees and grinding off roofs and is still able to skate and skate as well as he does is an absolute miracle. So yeah. Um, Plus you're like, 
are you not friends with Pat Ritter as well? Because I know that you guys are both you have some kind of connection with like Tate yeah. and yeah. We when we see each other first time he he came here with Marius and FTS, you know. He they came here in Milan like last year. I, I guess last year. For the oh. video, I don't know if you see the video. Last year, not the year before. I actually don't remember exactly <laughs> the day. <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing, they came here and we saw each other for the first time. But we used to text like a couple of times before, you know, respond of the stories on the, you know, comment the post, uh, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, Patrick, and Marius told uh, John to think about, to get me on the team. They told John to, about me. They, they talk about me. And I'm so lucky, I'm lucky that <laughs> John texts me and wants me on his team. So. They put in a good word for you. Yeah, that's another thing as well, because John doesn't usually just sponsor random people or people that like, you know everyone else thinks is good he normally only sponsors people that he knows or people that are like friends of friends because yeah. he normally They're goes like on big family they, yeah, they, everybody knows each other i'm like the adopted one I'm like <laughs> <laughs> the last one adopted yeah that is a strong european team though because they've got yeah pat ritter yourself marius gale although i do know john julio has never given a european skater a pro model skate, which I'm quite surprised by because they had some amazing Europeans on Valo and none of them got a pro skate, like Cosimo Tassone and those guys. So I wonder if I wonder if them could be the first time that a European rider gets a pro skate. That would be pretty awesome. I hope. I hope. Um, have you ever have you ever had footage in one of Pat Ritter's videos? See when you said he was in Italy with Marius, were they filming for something? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that period I saw the first time Patrick Reader. And uh, no, I'm not, uh, I'm never filmed with him. Right. Because I saw him only one time because I, I, I was busy in that period. I was working at McDonald's. So, okay. <laughs> and uh, that I just, is, that uh, is like the ultimate teenage job having working at McDonald's is like the ultimate teenage job. Okay, cool. Flipping hamburgers, no. <laughs> yeah. But I used to. We we were planning to film a video together, me and Patrick and Marius. But then you know, COVID and things. I couldn't go to Germany to them to to Patrick to film. So I'm here in Milan. You know, in August. August is the worst period in Milan. Why? The city is because everybody's in vacation. Everybody, uh, every shops are closed. So you can do literally nothing. All right. You can do, just skating. I just would, skating. I would have thought people like, because obviously lots of people are on vacation and just going, going on vacation in their own country at the moment because it's safer or easier or they don't have to quarantine. I would have thought lot, lots of people would come to Milan for their vacation. Yeah, but uh, I'm not, I don't live uh, in the center center. Right. I live like 20 minutes from the center. But still, a lot of shops are closed. So sometimes, okay, I wanna, I, now I have money, I can buy this hat. Then I go, I went there and the shops are closed. I'm like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know they have this thing called the internet. Like, you yeah, can, but you can just buy it online. <laughs> when you're excited, you know, you don't think about it. You just go, you just go for it. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, does that not make the streets quieter, though? Surely that's a good thing. If the streets are quieter, makes it easier to skate. No. No, because all the uh, every old people stay here in land. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> So, like, you can't skate here. Do you, do you get you, a lot of that? You, 
Yeah, do you get a lot of, like, just people on the street, like, not security guards, just, you know, the random old yeah, people? random who are... people, yeah, okay. random people. Right. But not every time. It depends. One time, uh, I was skating, um, in, always in Milan, in a spot, and one, one guy came, came to... Came to me, I was like, you can't stay, you know, face to face like this near. I was yeah. like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> You're like, why? Why are you so angry? Like, chill I, I out. Was, I was seventeen. He was like forty. Yeah, that's that's not okay. Yeah, that's not. I was like, and I was alone because the in that period that was winter. Right. That was winter. Uh, I was I was skating alone, so and then n- nobody's around me. I I got no friends, you know, behind me s- yeah. to support, you know, to cap to keep, to calm down the guy. So like I grabbed my stuff and then and I went home and I went back home. So that, that is was, that's that's the danger when you go out street skating on your own. Yeah, you've got you exactly. don't have anyone like to back you up or you know like yeah fight your corner and if someone just is yeah goes crazy basically um that's what i was going to ask have so obviously you've skated a lot in milan have you had a chance because you haven't you know been skating for that many years have you had a chance to like do a lot of traveling skating or like have you have you been to like any other cities either in your own country or in other european countries to skate uh, I went to Switzerland with always with Jason. We were skating and we filmed for the first we, we filmed some clips. And uh, when I went to the Philippines to my parents, to my other parents, I skate a little bit, but there's there is there is impossible to skate. That's what I was going to ask. What's, yeah, what's it like to skate in the Philippines? Because it's, in my incredibly ignorant, you know, lack of knowledge about the Philippines, any kind of footage I've seen of it, it, it doesn't look like it has the best surface to skate on. And it's like uh, there's a there's a quite cool skate park in Manila, and when I when I went there, they kicked me out. Because they told the guard, there was the guard, the guard told me the skate park was closed. And I asked, why it's closed? I was like, ah, I don't know, just just don't come here again. And I was like, really? You don't know? You're the guard and you don't know why the, the skate park is closed? Right. Okay. Then I tried to skate straight, but that was impossible. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, there's a lot of poor people. Okay. So the the street is not well. There's not good. The street's not good. Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, you know, drugs dealer in, of course, Manila. So if you, you know, make noises, etc., and draw attention to yourself, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was the the point. So it is not cool. So is because my, is Manila like safe to like? Is is it a, is it a safe city to like move about in and skate in or no? It's uh, safe in the center because there's a lot of people and a lot of guard. Yeah. But if you go just a little bit, a little bit off the city, it's it's very very dangerous. Not too much but you have to be careful but manila and street don't do it <laughs> <laughs> the spots are whack and uh, the spots are really whack don't yeah, okay. go skate on street in the philippines in the philippines <laughs> Un- understood I'll, I'll make a mental note of that so so apart from like Switzerland and uh, yeah, going back to visit family in the Philippines, have you done any other traveling for skating or has that been it? Only, always in Italy, you know, I've been Torino, like other city, but always in Italy. Right. Yeah. I, 
Yeah, only Switzerland and Philippines. Okay. Yeah. And apart I would from, like to go in LA. I would like to go in LA. I mean, that could now that you've got the connection with John and them are doing exactly. insanely well. That that is a possibility. Yeah, you could end up at a blading cup or yeah, end up up out there visiting the shop or getting to film. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, are there many? So apart from obviously like Jason and his brother and yourself, are there are there many skaters in Milan? Because it doesn't look like. And I've asked Jason about this before. I don't feel like I ever see any content coming out of Milan apart from you guys. Uh, this is a, one of my good friends, Jomar, Jomar Velasquez. Okay. I don't know if you ever see him. It's, it's the dude with the long hair. It's kind of long hair. He's been in the video. I don't know if you see it. Me, Jason, and Jomar. We did a video for when? the SL White. I have seen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, and the pro model of Derek Anderson. Right. And he's skating with us, and he he's he's filming for his video. So stay okay. tuned. So he's always oh, working, as in he's working he's on working. a section or like a full a full video. It's a profile. No, right. It's a okay. section. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he always filming with me, but uh, he's he's riding razors now. But you know, still, we're still gonna skate together. Yeah, it's not it's not yeah. a problem. Yeah, <laughs> who cares what? Of course, of yeah, course. what skate who someone cares? wears? Yeah. Um. So yeah, do is that something that you guys like? Obviously, I'm way older than you. I am not 19. I'm 38. As, as a 19-year-old who rollerblades, is that something you're interested in, like making sections, or would you rather make stuff for Instagram where it's like quicker and you can show people, you know, your your skills? Because it's one of these things like filming a section can take quite a long time. Like if you're skating all the time, you could maybe do it in a month or two months or three months. If you're not skating a lot, it can take so much longer. Like Jason, because Jason's obviously busy with work and family and stuff. Okay. It can take them a lot longer to film apart. But with Instagram, you can literally get your friend to hold a phone. You can do like a hurricane exactly. topsail on a reel at the skate park and be like, yeah, put that up. <laughs> put that up and let's exactly. get some likes. So what like in in your opinion, what you know in my you- opinion, in my opinion, when uh when I film with the for Instagram, it's like I'm not trying to go, I'm trying to go, you know more like an aesthetic i want to look uh, good when i'm doing the trick so uh it's of course more faster than the section and it's like it's super fast if you got an idea like a trick your creativity just uh take a, a little bit yeah, for me right it's like when i see you know a little rail and some grass and the the street part. Okay, I'm gonna do top zone, then get the grass and go on the street. So that is fast. You can film it easier. Of course, there's no editing. You know, you can post it easy. And the thing is, uh, it's faster. It's easy. And I think from the phone, it uh, looks doesn't look better, of course, but doesn't look that that works it doesn't get yeah. it doesn't look ugly okay so but, what would you what would you what would you put on instagram right just as like yeah. as, as a standard clip and what would you say oh no i'm not going to do that for instagram i'm going to save that and i'm going to put it in my next section like what how do you how do you decide what what you use a clip for or what you're going to do a trick for <laughs> If it took me a lot, <laughs> if I fell too many times, uh, okay, this is gonna be in the section. <laughs> yeah. no, uh, it causes me pain. This um, this isn't getting exactly. wasted on Instagram. Exactly. Okay, cool. No, uh, like um, the two tops on the ledge. Uh, that of course I'm never gonna post it on the on IG because um, for me. In that moment, I'm not thinking, I'm not joking anymore. So like Instagram for me, if I post a video like the phone, I'm kind of joking. I'm kind of, you know, 
have fun, you know, with my friend. Maybe I'm a little bit drunk. I'm trying some tricks. I don't know. So I've, I've seen the, some of your Instagram clips and some of them, you're not messing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, when um, I see a spot and I'm trying to look me on that spot and I see that, okay, I think it's pretty good and I'm keeping this trick from the for the uh, for the section for the habit, yeah. yeah. So it every my my trick on the IG on Instagram, it's uh, it's random, kind of random. I'm never thinking like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to the train station. I'm gonna do top so on the on the on the high ledge. Yeah. No, it's like maybe I can try top so on the high ledge. Yeah. I, I, Can you yeah. grab my phone? I think I know what you mean. Like, so for Instagram, it's it's spontaneous. It's not planned out. Exactly. You're just like, all oh, right, you know, uh, uh, let's let's give this a try. Yeah. And if it looks good, I'm am I gonna I'm gonna post it. If it doesn't, I'm gonna post it in the stories. So okay, it's more like that. I, I hear you. Um, so you're getting hooked up by them. Are you are you sponsored by anyone else? I'm sponsored by. Dam skates and Colectivo. I don't know if you know uh, uh, what's, Marky. What's what's Colectivo? Colectivo is a skate shop in Mexico, Mexico. Okay. And uh, one of my big friends that works at Razor's uh, uh, skate shop, uh, he told me he he's doing some brand. He 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 got uh, a skate shop called Colectivo. And right. he sells skates and other things, even for uh, skateboarders, I, I guess. Yeah. And the skate, inline skates. And and he told me, I can sponsor you. I can send you some shirts, you know, and other things. So uh, I got only these these two sponsors. Yeah, these two sponsors. So you're you're so not you're not getting. Skate, Okay, you're not getting hooked up by a, a frame sponsor or a wheel sponsor yet. I used to uh, Celtic. I text Celtic right. frames because I love this, those frames. And like the flat ones or the them, free sale? Like what? Which the, the, the flat one? The flat right. one. Okay. I I I love skate. I love skate flat. And I ask them if I. If I have the chance to skate for the Celtic, but um, I got the frames, but now I'm in love to the them frames. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot so of people who I'll, have tried those frames really like them. They are they are very good because they're they're not the high. Yeah. And the space between the the wheels, it's it's kind of. High, it's like nice it's, and it's not, it's not small. Yeah, there's a big gap. Yeah. So I, I like them. I like them a lot. All right. Like, I. Yeah, but I, I would like to, I would like to try the, the big frames. No, the gun control big. I want to try them. I never tried them. I'm surprised. Surely Jason must have a set of those lying around that you can try on a pair of skates. No. Yeah, uh, uh, now he doesn't have the big one because I never asked him. I always got the idea, but I never asked him. Right, just he's got he's got to have a pair of those lying around. <laughs> Jason is gonna kill me after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's, he's gonna sure kill he's you. Gonna... The next the next time I see him at Winter Clash, he's gonna come up to me and just give me lots of shit. Um, so. <laughs> You mentioned John Bellino. Like, who else? Who else have you? And you obviously mentioned uh, Alex Brosco as well. Like, who else have you watched that really inspires you? Or you're like, oh, like I, like either I enjoy watching that, or I would love, like I want, I want to do that kind of skating. Okay, okay, uh, for sure. Uh, my two biggest idols are. 
Jason or Granny and my two cousins because I grew up watching them, yeah. them video. So I steal a lot of tricks from Jason and Gabriel. I you, steal you, a lot of You tricks guys do them. love true spins. You guys love true spin top sides. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then John Bolino, uh, Sean Darst. I love his style. Yeah. I love his style. Then Marius. Marius is Marius is like one of my favorite European skaters at the moment. Yeah, he's really good. When when uh, I saw his uh, grab fish <gasps> before jumping, you I was mean, like, yeah, the he does like this the one the, they're well we used to call them solos in the nineties, but like I grabbed one foot and then jumps onto the fish brain on the handrail. <laughs> that was, a, was like, amazing. Yeah. Then I try I tried at the skate park. I felt so bad. <laughs> I was bit, it, yeah, trying that, trying that on a handrail must be horrible because you could so horrible. easily just hit your balls so hard. Trying so hard. On, even we, even just trying it on a skate park is dangerous. Exactly. You you hit your balls and you're still grabbing your foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. And and you you must look like a complete idiot because See if you land it, it looks amazing. See if you fall and get really, really hurt. Someone was just going to be looking at you being, why did you roll up to that object holding your skate? What, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. So I said Sean Darst and Marius and what's the other one? I remember this one. There's the other one. Wait, I got a blackout. Wait. I don't want to miss that one. <laughs> I, I love it when I put people on the spot like this and, and you just ask them, you ask them just simple questions and they're like, shit. And I know I would do the same. I just wouldn't, my mind would just go completely clear. All right. So Chiro, so Chiro Kanashima. Like, Another good choice. Okay. Yeah. Those are all. And a lot of them, course, bro, a lot Brosco of them are on, are on them as well. So Brosco, exactly. Sean Darst, <laughs> Marius, Soichiro. You're basically just listing, <laughs> you're just listing teammates. <laughs> yeah, this is my inspiration. John Bolino, of course, is like the biggest, like the biggest inspiration. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, John Julio is hooking up Bellino with skates because John John Bellino always seems to have a different pair of them skates on every time I see him. But yeah. it would be it would be cool if he was made official on the team. That'd be yeah, because he exactly. is still he is still skating at such yeah an incredible level. So yeah, that would be awesome. Exactly. Um, I was so surprised when I saw when I saw that he came back when I saw the video with you know at skate with Sean Dart when he did. Uh, frontside royal up then out of top so 260 out so so steezy was it in maybe one of the was that a too easy edit or what was that in? no or it's one like uh, some... a post on, on on ig he he okay. on instagram he posted a video that right. he came back i mean he is still yeah he, he came so, back and i saw footage in like the sunday brunch videos and then just his random instagram things and his, his sections that he obviously filmed with casey garrity and yeah he is he's yeah. still he always filming he always filming with uh too easy with with gregory press greg Preston, yeah 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 hopefully i'm hoping in the brain yeah. dead video he's gonna have footage in that because yeah i know that greg's been out a lot filming i know he's fil been filming a lot with sean darst as well so hopefully sean darst yeah. is gonna have a full section soon um all right okay so what is you you said that you were working in uh mcdonald's are you still working there what what do you do for a job no now? I, I was working uh, i worked there for like three months <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. I, I can imagine a lot of people quit McDonald's yeah. after a very short amount of time. Yeah, because uh, that that was the worst. It were you was... working? In, were you working in the kitchen or out in front on the counter? Both, because uh, always, you know, uh, they switch me every time. So, okay, right. today you're going to be in the kitchen. No, today you're gonna serve the clients, the customers, and you're gonna take the Mac drive. 
like, oh. The drive through. What, Every- what was it like working in McDonald's? Because whenever I've been in there, customers can be absolute dicks to the members of staff. Exactly. And I'm, I would just think, yeah. What was it like to work there? It's hell. <laughs> Literally hell. You, you because, must have uh, some stories from working at McDonald's because McDonald's just seems to me like quite a crazy, chaotic place to work. Because you have to be fast, think, smart. And, uh, you know, if you, see, if you see customers, you know, uh, taking orders, you have to put the fries, you know, start to get the ice out for the, for the drinks. Uh, and then put the all the all the all the meat, all like oh. has, taking orders. Yeah. Take- has since since you've worked there, has it put you off the food, or do you, are you still okay to eat McDonald's? I'm still eating McDonald's. <laughs> like <laughs> I actually, I actually don't care. It like, couldn't have been I, that bad then. Yeah, it, it couldn't. <laughs> it couldn't have been like a disgusting experience then if you're still willing to eat the food. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I'm super skinny, literally super skinny. You're you're also nineteen. But, we'll see how long that lasts. Exactly. Jason always told me that. Yeah, he's, he's like, you're gonna get fat soon. Just wait, just wait. It's coming. Yeah. And for being skinny, every time I fell, it's a nightmare. It's like I felt the. I felt twice of a normal guy, like <laughs> because I'm skinny. I don't have I don't have muscles, yeah. so it it go through the bones. So like, oh. see, that argument does kind of work, but it also means that you shouldn't fall as hard because you're not as heavy. So like, because yeah. when I was a yeah. teenager, I was so unbelievably skinny and i was like i just want to put on weight i just want to have muscles i just want to and now that i'm in my 30s and you can't like get skinny again you're like this sucks i don't want to i don't want to have a belly like i want to be i want to be thin again (laughs) it sucks so yeah um yeah be careful what you wish for yeah (laughs) Yeah. but then okay uh when i was filming the the section for damn skates i used to uh, we were planning to do the video in three weeks and it took like almost two months two months and because uh, after two weeks of filming I was like skating in the skate park and I tried to do a crazy trick I, I tried to do I, I guess top soul send me out and I almost broke my ankle top when soul, I landed. The, sorry, top soul 720 out. 720 out. Right. 720 out. I almost broke my ankle. I was like, because I felt the, a, little, a little sounds from my ankle. I was yeah. like, oh, I can't, I can't walk now. Like, and, and tomorrow I have to film with Jason. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> How can I tell Jason that I almost broke my ankle? <laughs> messing around at the skate park he's gonna be like are you kidding me right now um and okay. and then i i i tried to walk and i was like okay it's not that bad the day after my ankle was so big so thick and i was like jason today i can't skate i can't swim today jason oh <laughs> uh, i was like and it took a little bit to to get back, like two weeks to get back uh, normal. Two months is not a long time though to spend filming a section. Yeah. Like if that's if that's what you managed to do in just two months, like that's yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, no, I was so surprised that I can uh, I could skate after two weeks. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Nin- Nineteen year old bodies heal fast. Nineteen year old body. <laughs> um what what was it like filming with jason because you're from what you're saying you're suggesting that jason's quite a bossy person to, yeah, to, to make exactly a section with I mean, i'm 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 thinking like 
every time it's Kevin Jason, it's no, it's not that bad. It's uh, it's every time it's funny, like it's not it's not that serious. Like oh, you okay. have to do this. Then, no, it's more funny every time we we laugh, etc. But the thing is, um, every time we film, I'm scared to hit the the camera every time. Right. That's fair enough. I mean, you did kick the fish eye. You kicked the fish yeah. eye in one of the clips. I kicked the fish eye when I did the fish parallel. Yeah, I kicked the fish eye because more times I'm more scared to hit the the camera than the, do the tricks. <laughs> yeah, than to fall. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> do you do you think do you think Jason would hurt you if you broke his camera equipment? Do you think? No, do, I, do you think he do you think he'd harm you? No, I don't think so. He's gonna, he's gonna tell me. You have to play the camera. Fair enough. Um, yeah, because the Jason I know. Whenever like I've hung about with Jason a couple of times at Winter Clash, and he's always like the smiliest, happiest person. But then you were, yeah, yeah. you were making me think that maybe when I'm not around, no, and, he, no, and he's no. he's got a section to film, he's like a tyrant, and he's like, <laughs> he's like Matt, get it, get it done, get it done now, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, only because I'm kind of dumb. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not good to say that, but um, it's not good to say yeah. that. You should not say that about yourself. Yeah, yeah you're, you're correct. I'm correct, but it's like this. I know that I'm, I'm dumb, so I'm just upset that. <laughs> so you know when I mess around, like uh, I'm getting too drunk the the night before filming right it actually never happened but i'm scared to to know the reaction of jason when it when it happens <laughs> he's gonna give you into trouble yeah i have i have seen your i've seen your instagram stories regularly and I, I know yeah. that you li- i know that you like the nightlife i know that you like to party um you you do realize you never answered the question as i said what are you doing for work now and you just told me about mcdonald's yeah you, you didn't tell me what now, you're doing now now i'm not working Okay. And I'm I'm doing tattoos to my friends. I'm trying to make it my job. Right. And now As, the spirit is hard to like, like know, normal get, tattoos or stick and poke tattoos. Like what what kind of tattoos? No, no normal tattoos. Right. I get the machine. It's the called gun, machine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I I did a couple of tattoo, pretty good, and but now it's hard to get into a studio. I have to pay the studio to know, yeah, to to ta- to make tattoos there. Yeah, I have to pay them. But now it's hard. I'm trying to. I'm searching for other jobs now, but it's hard now, and I'm keep searching. Like I'm not, no doing nothing and messing around so all right have you ever have I'm you ever searching. tattooed yourself never i i tattoo uh, uh almost all my friends okay but i have zero tattoos you've got zero tattoos because, uh, i'm not trusting someone to tattoo like i have a lot of tattoos <laughs> i am not trusting someone to tattoo me who has no tattoos <laughs> I have like, no tattoos. I'm like, what the hell do you know about this? Like, you've not experienced it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not letting you stab me with this. Yeah, but between friends, uh, you do that. I think we do that. Okay. So, so you've you've never been you've never been tempted to just try it out on yourself. No, because my mother doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want your mom to kick your ass. That's what you're saying. I don't want that my mom kick my ass out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, nah, that she told me that when I, when I'm turning 21, maybe I will get one, one tattoos. Does she know that you have a tattoo machine? Yeah, she know that that I do tattoos, but right. she don't want that. That my body, she said, your body has to be clean. <laughs> I mean, Jason's got tattoos. Yeah, I know, but he's not her mother, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would do, do you think Jason would let you tattoo him? 
I don't think so. I actually <laughs> do you think, think, do you think so. he would trust you? No. <laughs> has, has he ever seen any of the tattoos you've done? Yeah, yeah. What what have you what have you done for people? Like what kind of tattoos have you made? I did the first tattoo that I made. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't I don't like that you're touching your neck right now. If the first tattoo you did was on someone's neck, I'm gonna be very yeah. concerned. Holy Behind yes. here, neck. Uh, I did three axes okay. because our the rapper, I don't know if you know the rapper, the died. XXX the, like, temptation. Yeah. yeah uh, she likes, you know, like, I want you to do this tattoo on my on I'm like, okay. But that was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I mean, it sounds like your friends might be a bit stupid, like, to let someone yeah. who's never used yeah. a tattoo machine tattoo exactly. their neck. And, I, and, you know, the first time that everybody tattoos, like, on the on their own legs right you yeah. know the the real the real like skin. places places but, no one can see yeah but he i told him i never tattoo on the real on the real skin like the first time he's like don't worry about it i trust you Austin. <laughs> were they drunk <laughs> no 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 he wasn't drunk okay and um it took like the the axes like uh, I'm gonna put it here like this big. They, they were they were big. They were like big here behind. Right. And uh, that was pretty good. I'm nervous just just hearing that. Okay. Yeah. Did 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 this person have long hair? Could they cover it up? No, short hair. Super short hair. Super short hair. <laughs> and. Okay. I, I'm gonna send you the. I'm gonna send you the picture. Yeah, after. I, I want to see the picture of this tattoo because I'm. I'm. I'm not convinced how good this can possibly be if it's the. If it's one of your first tattoos. Trust, trust me. Trust me. The tattoo is. Be, uh, is good. It's pretty good. All right. Okay. I'll take your word for it. So, budding, budding tattoo artist. Have you ever been like tempted to go to college or do anything like that? No. I no. Because, because I'm lazy. It's just like, and, I don't, I don't want, it's not for everyone. Like, but I I finished the school. Uh, it's like a professional school. I don't know if it's called it like that. It's like only for working, like three years and plus yeah, no, two no, years. Really, yeah, I did three years. Then I passed the exam for an electrician. Then I tried to work it as an uh, work experience. I try it like that. I hate it. Worse, no, it's not worse than McDonald's. It's like the same level, same level of McDonald's. Yeah, I've I've done internships. Internships suck. So yeah, like internship yeah. work experience, you basically not being. You're doing a job and not being paid. It sucks. Exactly. You're you're working for nothing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, Only for experience. Yeah. And if you don't enjoy it, you're like, wow, I'm getting nothing out of this. I'm not enjoying it and I'm not being paid. This is awful. Exactly. <laughs> and then you can skate because you have to work like eight hours yeah. and you can't skate because you're tired. You're going back home. If you're going to skate, nobody's skating because they already skate. So, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I totally get it. I, yeah. I wouldn't recommend anyone do that. Um, I'm surprised it's even still legal to make people do that. Like it's just, it's just unpaid exactly. labor. Yeah. It's awful. Um, so what is, what does the future hold then for Matt Reyes? What are you, have you got any plans for now that you've obviously got a new section that's just been out? Have you got any plans to make another one or to go anywhere or what? Have... I'm planning to go uh, maybe next year. Uh to Los Angeles to meet like John Julio, etc. And I'm I'm planning to yeah do another section, but maybe in the winter I'll do another section. And uh, I already did um, a mini edit. It's gonna post it on I think uh, on on Instagram. For okay. the new pants, for the new pants of Demskate. All oh, right, yeah. I did, 
I did like three three clips or four clips, don't remember, with the new them them pants and like like a mini edit. Cool. And I don't know, John has told me a lot of new projects. So <laughs> I mean John John strikes me as a man that has a thousand ideas. So I'm I'm sure he's, exactly. he's got some interesting stuff planned. Um so now that your last section had the full cab true spin top porn down a stair rail, the next section's got to have a full cab true spin top sole down a rail. Yeah, that's that seems reasonable to me. I I don't want to do. I want to I want to do a little spoiler because that's the trick that I want to. I'm I'm still learning this trick. I'm gonna. I'm trying. It's my dream. It's my dream trick. Okay. It's my dream trick. So if you're gonna see it on the new stage, it's gonna be lit. It's like hurricane, fish parallel. It's like the dream. Hurricane it's parallel dream. fish. Okay. Exactly. I don't even know if anyone's done that. If anyone has done it, it's probably like farmer. Farmer loves a parallel fish, but I don't think I've ever seen him do a hurricane one. That might be an NBD. That might be a never been done. Let's see if I can if I can learn it. Because also, what the hell are you going to do that on? Finding finding an object to do that on is going to be hard. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a downrail. It's going to be a downrail. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. And... <laughs> exactly. Good luck. <laughs> Jay's always told me that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Even he's like, I'm going to film it, and the footage is going to be incredible either way. <laughs> either you're going to exactly. land it, or you're going to get really fucking hurt. <laughs> it's like another trick that uh, I want to learn. One of my favorite is like full cup, two spin, Swiss stance, two spin kind grind, full cup, two spin kind grind. Okay. Again. But then always, Jason, like uh, when I did the, if you, if you remember the sex with the razors, like I did the fish brain on the king rail, on the green king rail, the last trick of the edit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The one on the, the one on the left with the grass going down it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. When I told Jason that I'm going to do fish brain on that rail, he told me, are you sure of that? I'm like, okay, I'm going to film it. <laughs> And because I'm more like on the if I'm feeling it, because if I'm feeling the trick, I think I like one day I did the uh, choose me kind of always the same video. Yeah, choose me kind of I never did choose me kind of uh, between that day. Never did it. Wait, what? So in in that section where you do the true spin kind grind on the white rail, you'd never like done the you'd, first time. You'd never done one before. Never, <laughs> never, never. It's like is okay. That that and seems it like it was like there was the wall. Like <laughs> yeah, that that doesn't and make it. The... That doesn't make it safer. That just means there's another thing you can hit yourself <laughs> off. Great. And the the, the alu topsail because there was like alu topsail and then trusting kind grand, like the alu topsail was worse than trusting kind grand. Like the trusting kind grand looks cooler than the alu topsail. <laughs> oh, you mean the alu topsail in the same section? Yeah. yeah, that rail was high though. That rail that you alu topsail is high and long. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen spot... I've seen Jason and um, Edwin skate it before. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like a very fun flat like no flat rail it looks it looks like a, a flat rail that you can hurt your balls on really badly actually actually um uh, that that part doesn't ex- exist anymore they put it off right but uh i hate that spot i hate it Is i it, don't doesn't it, I, it's got cobbles going down it doesn't it i don't like it wait the like the actual rail, it's going down a disabled ramp, and the disabled ramp's all like cobbles, isn't it? Or the ground, the ground looks really rough in the footage. It's not. It's rough. Yeah. It's like fucked up. So, so if you fall early, you're just cutting up your skin. <laughs> well, always in that rail, when I was filming a video with for razors, I tried to spin kind grind, but I fell too many times. 
I hit my back. Both of my elbows was fucked up. I was bleeding a lot. All my hands was bleeding. I like, I think I'm, I'm done for today. Plus, that's that's a long rail to balance a true spin cane grind on because exactly. true spin cane grind is really hard to keep, like keep your balance. One, even if you lock onto it, like staying in that position is not. Yeah, it's no joke. Yeah. But now maybe you're not gonna believe me now, but I can do true spin cane grind, but I can do mizu. I, oh, I can, lots, <laughs> lots of people have things like that. Lots of people like yeah. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um. Yeah. Lo- lots of people have those little quirks. Like I can do alley oop top horns on ledges, rails, whatever. I can't do sunny days on anything. I always lean forward too much and just like s- my soul foot sticks oh. in. And like I think everyone's got those tricks that just that, that, exactly. that, that just don't make sense to them. They just don't work for certain people. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, we've covered loads of stuff and there was quite a lot of stuff I didn't realize. That's unbelievably cool that, yeah, your family moved over there from the Philippines and you're like the first person in your like immediate family, like born in Italy or, well, sorry, like you and your siblings are like the first people in your family born. That That is really cool. Is it, was like, did your family move into Italy? Did they find it? Was it like easy for them or did they suffer racism or is, is like Milan really multicultural and that wasn't an issue? Like what, what was it like growing up in, in Milan? Uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not good to say, but racism is a little bit everywhere, but yeah, in the like 20 or 30 years ago, when my mother came here, there's still a, um, you know stereotypes like if you're Filipino, you only can clean the houses and you know getting drunk and make fights, fights and okay, you know all the stereotypes make hates and um, that's why um, growing up, you know, for other people, you know, growing up with parents that think that if you're like. Uh, everybody like growing up with the racist parents of course makes the kids you know think about that okay so if uh, a soft Filipino the only work that he can do is like clean the house yeah like uh, so you yeah. mean like as in like the the kids get racist ideas from their parents yeah for their parents so but now yeah when I was little when I was uh a little child, and I'm I'm still little. I'm not I'm not <laughs> that old. So. You know, you're at well, 19. You're a young man. You know, you're working now. Like, is yeah, you're you're be- becoming an adult. Yeah, yeah. When I was in the elementary school, everybody was telling me, you know, are you like you no know, making jokes from of me and making me feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable, and I'm like. And but it is what yeah it's hard for for a lot of people accept that uh, kids had hates because kids can make hard jokes kids now can make hard jokes now and makes you know uh, other people get into depression yeah and and maybe. You know, fucked up their life only because your your parents teach you that if somebody is like this, like it's Filipino, he only can clean houses, yeah. can be more than that. So it depends on uh, the personalities. You know, I grew up when I when I was a little kid, my personality was weak. Now I got a strong personality so if somebody's gonna tell me something like that no i i didn't even hear it doesn't yeah. pass me from my mind so but, you growing, know like when you were growing up were there were there other kids in school from other backgrounds like either like like i don't know like black kids or like like asian kids or was it all just was it all was were you like was it only white people you went to school with when 
when I was uh, in the first two years elementary, there was only Italian kids because uh, the mini the the city uh, it wasn't that full of immigrants, so the school had only not only but like the ninety percent of the kids was Italian. Then I moved, I changed school, and I went to the to another school that was like full of immigrants and. I you know I felt better. I made a lot of uh, friends, and but yeah, the not not everybody, of course. Now the situation is getting better, but there's still somebody racist, even if there's nineteen or seventeen. Yeah, there's still people thinking that that racism is cool. I mean, there's there's always going to be stupid people. That's that's just always going to happen. Just hopefully, as time moves on, there'll be less people with those kind of ideas. But yeah, I, I understand what you mean, and yeah, that that couldn't have been fun to grow up with. But yeah, as you get older, and like you said, going to a more multicultural school with other people yeah. from different backgrounds, it it makes life easier because yeah, there's other people who. Have experienced something you have, so you've got something in common with them. So no, it's now it's cool. Now it's cool. Like, but if, if I see a little kids, you know that like so two days ago I saw a bunch of kids playing. Uh, like, why when I was a kid it wasn't like this? It was like I was playing always alone <laughs> because right, okay, of the yeah. other kids. But you know, then rollerblading. When I start roll, when I would start skating, I met a lot of people. I start new French friendship, and I start to know other people, even out of Milan, out of Italy. Yeah, and that's a super super cool thing. Uh, that that is yeah, in my opinion, one of the best things about rollerblading is that you meet people from all these different places you meet rich people poor people yeah like people of different colors and backgrounds and for the most part most people don't care they just don't care like as long as you're a nice person or you're fun to hang out with they literally don't give a shit where you're from what color you are and yeah, yeah i think i think that's absolutely awesome but even the, you know, the thing that I like, even if, uh, you know, I go to a skate park, right? And I saw uh, a new blader, or maybe I go to another skate park and I saw a new blader. When we, you know, we saw each other, they were like, I feel like he's my brother. Like, oh, yo, what's up? Like, they were like friends for like 10 years. I never <laughs> met him. Like, we were like friends for like 10 years. You're like, but, you, yeah. you're, you're a role. I didn't know there was any other rollerbladers at this park. What, exactly. what are you doing here? This is, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that thing. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. So I've taken up lots of your time tonight. Um, like I said, absolutely loved the new section. Thought it was great. I've watched it's it so, so much. many times. It's unbelievable. Um, and when are you? When's your new like short thing in the them pants coming out? I'm guessing you're just going to release that on Instagram or. I actually don't know when because the the filmer. It's too slow. <laughs> Wait a minute. And who's, who's filming it? Who no, filmed it's not it? Jason. Is, uh, I, I, I guess that by the fact that you said the filmer. It's uh, Matteo Caligiore. Matteo Caligiore uh, filmed the uh, Roses. Yeah, no. he filmed the. Uh, okay. He filmed the the video from Roses, and he he said, "Okay, let's. I want to film you for the pants and, that, and other shit." And I was like, "Okay, okay," and it takes like two weeks. I I never seen a clip. <laughs> and, and there was like four I feel like four clips right like, I, I don't need the, the edit just the clip yeah even with the phone from the computer you're like Matteo yeah, like, show me the show me the footage Mateo, what, I want to I want to see right <laughs> so you've been waiting yeah. two weeks so far that's what you're telling me yeah. 
I'm waiting too much. I think, I think you need to send them a little, a little, a little nice message. Mateo, come on, <laughs> come on. Exactly. Mateo, <laughs> te estoy guardando este video. Mateo, you if you're watching this, come on, man. We want, we want to see the footage. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, dude. I have asked you way too many questions. Have you got anything you want to say before we before we wrap this up? Other than saying sorry to Jason and pl- Jason, <laughs> Jason, pl- please, please don't hurt Matt. Sorry, he didn't Jason. he didn't mean any of it. He's he's sorry, right? He loves you. Okay, just stay tuned for uh, for John Mark Velasquez's video. Okay, because it's gonna be late for from Razors and nothing. Just stay tuned and and follow me and Jomar Velasquez on Instagram. Even Jason, even Jason. The Instagram plug. The Instagram. That is like, real. Exactly. That, that's the most nineteen-year-old thing you could possibly have ended this with. <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Love follow it. me on Instagram. <laughs> Great. Um, Thank you very much for taking the time to do this. Thank uh, you. Yeah, Thank love, you. love the last profile. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. And yeah, can't wait to see this new video. Yeah, hope everything goes well. Hopefully speak soon. Thank you Hopefully so much. see you at Winter Clash next year. Yeah. Well, in that case, have a good night. Speak Bye. soon. Good night. Bye.